Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, I just did a collective read because I could feel like energy shifting. So it looks like it's, it's more positive in a, in a spiritual direction than any other direction. Um, maybe somebody didn't want to ex accept a, a spiritual connection or is somewhat spiritual and willing to be open-minded, but other people around them are not comfortable with it. I don't know where that message just came from. Basically, I just, I'm uploading a video so this video will clearly come out first. There's no need to do an extension there, an extended. There's it just, no. Nope. Next, please. Next, please. And if some of you are going to give somebody else the benefit of the doubt, you better hope and pray that this person is completely 100% honest and vulnerable with you. Because if they are not, you are definitely going to step back into the ring of fire. You're, you're already smart enough from the read I just saw than to even put yourself in that situation without having what you need. And this person thought what they were giving you was enough. They had no idea who they were dealing with. Okay. Um, so basically, I'm not going to do an extended because, you know, I could always be like, yep, of course, this person's changing their ways. Yep, they're going to come back. But you know what? You came in as a spiritual being, so I know you know better. So your gut, your intuition will tell you whether or not you're stepping into the ring of fire or you give somebody the benefit of the doubt. I, I don't, you don't need the cards to tell you what's best for you because right now, you, this energy, you already told them to kick rocks, you know? So next, please. That's, it's just, next, please. Um... It's it's not worth reading that energy right now. I just I just read it and it's it's like no doing an extended would get the situation nowhere. Okay, um, not a thing. It's just not okay. Um, if you have a spiritual one in the read, because someone's coming in extremely spiritual, high priestess, that type of energy. Okay. Um, yeah, you need to pause. You don't jump into nothing. Be real careful. Cycles at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, <clears throat> if you're the other one that's gonna try to come back, you could deal with somebody who's playing hard to get. I don't. They thought it was attractive. Don't ask me why. Yeah. See, playing victim, hard to get. Like, <laughs> this is why I'm not doing an extended. Okay. You need this break. You called it. You need it. Once again, your back is turned. You're not dealing with somebody who's playing fucking victim. Literally, this is somebody that literally played hard to get and thought it was attractive. They acted like they didn't give two shits about you when they were extremely happy that you were in their lives. It's arrogant. Somebody who made choices off other people's fucking opinions. Okay? So... Yeah, they're at the crossroads. I wouldn't doubt that. I guarantee that makes a lot of sense. Spirit would be like, what the fuck are you doing? Okay. So. I, I wouldn't be talking. Continue with that inner child. Have fun. Play. You got the balancing of the scales here. Let's see what this victim. Yeah, this victim needs to learn self-worth. Okay. Hopefully that message gets received. Because that's, I saw that all day. Okay. You're still dealing with somebody who's playing victim. Some, the, the self-worth needs to kick in. Okay. Big smack in the face over here. This one, go have fun again. Something karmically is going in your direction. It's the balancing of the scales, a gift, a reward. And it's not this person. It's, it's from backing away from this person who thought their games were going to get them somewhere. Again, if this person comes in, um, it's almost like that energy is protecting you. I'm not going to lie. If something's meant to be, it will be, it will come together. 
I know from what I saw in that read that you're not going to let a certain energy hold you back anyway. That's, again, why I don't need to do the extended. Make sure someone's just in their self-worth. Because right now they're still playing victim. Okay. So that's not good. Unconditionally loving, giving, receiving, affection, falling in love. Okay, so... Twin flames, yin and yang, complimenting each other. That's usually never good. So maybe somebody needs to, um, yeah, make better choices. Make better choices in love and love and less self-care, being happier. This person needs to realize their worth. And right now they're letting, you know, another situation that is not making them happy and is clearly not enough let it be end all be all okay so hopefully this energy starts making better choices self-love self-worth i do feel like this energy fell in love with you but they're still not in the whole self-empowerment stage you know again that's why i didn't want to do an extended So I'm kind of giving you a little extended. Yeah. <clears throat> There's still an addiction, an obsession, a controlling situation. Has a block. Yeah, see, not today. Not dealing with it angry. There's no boundaries. Still frustrated in a situation. Again, someone playing victim. They they need to stop making better choices. I'm telling you, there, there's something about this energy. It's almost protected. Like this energy won't even let them near you to me it's time for you to have fun take a break this energy over here has sucked your energy away for a little while it's clear as day but there's something coming into play for you karmic justice for you i almost feel like it's this energy is literally protecting you from even from this energy even coming in or you just know exactly who you are and you're not allowing it until this person has self-worth and wants to come in and actually balance out the scales and until then, you're just going to continue to have fun. You're going to continue to turn your back. This energy does love you. Yep, they sure do. But you know what? They're still not dealing with the situation. They're still in a codependent situation. And they need to make better choices. So until then, ta-ta for now. I hope you guys have a kick-ass week. Love you guys. Bye.